Hi, I'm Daniel. You might think you have mastered as in software, but there are still hidden tricks that could surprise you. Many users overlook these features. Let's make sure you're not one of them. You can map every key on your ASM exactly how you want. Simply click on a key in the software, select a device to map it from, and press the button you want to assign. The input will then appear in your control scheme. To make things even clearer, you can name each key so you instantly remember what function it performs. Just go to Settings, Appearance, Disable the Hide Custom Labels option and enable Show Keybinds with Custom Labels. With that, navigating your controls should be much easier. Speaking of easy, mapping your keys for each new game can get tedious. A good solution is to keep a default profile in the ASM software, with the most common binds. Actions like jump, crouch, sprint, reload that are used in most games. To set this up, highlight any profile in the software and click copy profile. Rename it to default profile and assign the common commands you are already familiar with. Whenever you map keys for a new game, you will have a preset with at least some bindings you already know. Did you know that you can switch between two binds just using your mouse? Simply click and hold the bind, then drag and drop it onto another cell. The layering function lets you switch between game profiles on the fly. While there is a dedicated button for profile switching, layering offers some interesting nuances beyond that. Pick a key, then, in the drop-down menu, select Layering. Next, choose the profile you want to switch to when pressing that key. From here, there are a few ways this can work. You can enable Switchback, which means pressing the same key in a new profile will return you to the original one. Just make sure that the key is unbound in the second profile before setting this up. Now, if you turn on this second option, the commands that are held down during the layering switch will be released, and the commands on the new profile will become activated. Another option is toggle on hold. When enabled, you can temporarily switch to another profile by pressing and holding the sign key. Once you release it, the software automatically switches back to your original profile. And that's layering in a nutshell. Simply put, it lets you double your keybinds when you run out. A handy feature, especially for complex RPGs. Now go try it out for yourself. The Azarin software offers several thumbstick modes, most of which are straightforward. Some, like keyboard mode, are widely used and work in most games. Others, like Xbox 360 joystick mode, support games that allow dual input. But there is one lesser obvious option, Xbox 360 plus keyboard joystick mode. This mode works only with games that support dual input and is especially useful in titles where you switch between running and driving. With this enabled, you can seamlessly control both movement and vehicles using a single thumbstick. You know what macros are, right? They are a set of actions or commands that run automatically with a single input, making tasks easier and faster. Just click on a key and select a macro. Then, click the plus button to add steps to the sequence. Choose the key for each step. Set the duration and specify the device type. You can also add a delay.
Now, with a single key press, an entire sequence of actions is executed. We'll let you imagine the insane things you can do in games, but keep this in mind. Macros are only available for software profiles, not onboard profiles. Again, software profiles. Turn on the software section by pressing on. Select the profile and click the star at the top. Repeat this for some other software profile. You can switch between them easily by pressing the profile button on your keypad. You can set the other in software to automatically switch to a specific game profile when launching a game. For example, if you start Marvel Rivals, you can link its profile in Azure software. Right-click on the game profile, select Link Settings, then Link Exe. Locate the game's executable file and press Select. That's it! Now, whenever you launch Marvel Rivals, the Azure software will automatically switch to its link profile, provided you have created one in advance. Yes, you can use two Azure devices at the same time. However, keep in mind that the software profiles can be used only by the primary device. The other will rely solely on onboard profiles. Here's how to set it up. Launch the Azure software. Connect both devices to your PC using the included USB cables. You will be prompted to choose between the two devices. We will call one your primary and the other a secondary device. Configure the onboard profiles for the secondary device. And make double sure the onboard profile section is activated. Now switch to your primary device. Customize your primary device as needed. You can now use two other devices simultaneously. Your primary device with both software and onboard profiles, and your secondary device with onboard profiles only. You can switch between them in the Azure software, making one primary and the other secondary, and vice versa. Just remember, the secondary device will always rely on onboard profiles, so be sure to configure them properly. Whatever your reason for using two, enjoy the added functionality. You can map surprisingly large combos to a single key in Azure software. Click on any cell, select keyboard, press up to three keys in sequence to set a combo. Want even more? If you start the combo with modifier keys like Shift, Control or Alt, you can extend it to six inputs. Importing or sharing a profile in Azure software is quick and easy. To share a profile, right-click on the profile, select Copy to Clipboard, a window with a code will appear. Copy the code and send it to a friend. To import a profile, copy the received code, click Import Profile in the Azure software. That's it! The profile will now appear in the software and be ready to use. If you already knew all of this, congrats on being a nerd. If this video just made you realize how much you have missed, you owe me a like, and a comment, and a sub.